welcome to another quick throw. It is I, your host as always, Reaction Examiner, aka Tristan J. I am joined by my longtime It's been par- a long time. Long time running partner, co op person, uh Lauren. Hey guys. So today, in honor of Dragon's Crown coming out soon, um, I'm going to be playing Odin Sphere, one of the developers, Vanillaware. Uh, one of his one of his one of their first kind of popular games um it was a game for the ps2 and i believe in the beginning title screen there i think it said like 2006 or 7 something like that 2007 yeah okay so what's going on here okay so the game is presented through storybooks so each of those storybooks represents a different character this is gwendolyn she is a valkyrie and uh i'm just okay that's the wrong button Okay, so, okay. All right, so you open the books and you'll start the character Just story. randomly start beating on people. This is basically you save the game and then you can like exit out whenever you want. There's like a button prompt for it. So like after stages you can save and it'll just start right off where you left off. And um, so right now, uh, this is like one of the farther chapters in the game, I believe. I'm kind of starting this back up after not playing it for probably when it first came out, so I haven't played this game in about four years. But uh, right away, this this art right now just holds up extremely well. Yeah, this art's always going to be pretty much in style. And I believe when it came out, um, since it was kind of late in the PS2 era, I believe they kind of made it so that it was compatible with HDTVs where it actually did widescreen. I think I'm not quite sure. Anyway, uh, stuff that's happening right now. So yeah, every character in the game is armed with one weapon, and uh, it can be upgraded through... I can't remember. I think you can go to like a forge or something. But you don't get new weapons, I believe. You just get thingies or whatever. What are you sucking into yourself there? Um, when you kill enemies, there's like a... Like their souls or something. Basically, do you see that meter, that seven okay. underneath where mm-hmm. the HP? So that's my magic. So if you ever saw uh, me like on a pull up, like triangle. Pull, nope, that's my inventory. So yeah, you have an inventory. You can that painkiller will uh, lessen, I believe, your like basically it's armor, and you can drink potions to regenerate yourself. Um, now the weird thing is, this is uh, like a side-scrolling RPG thing here. And the weird thing is, you level up by eating food. You don't get experience, you gotta like, get the food that things drop and you eat it and it'll say how much experience each thing has. That's weird. Yeah. I don't So eating the carrot was getting experience, not a health thing? It is a health thing and you get experience. Okay. It's It's really weird. Um, so the cool thing about this game, besides a lot of stuff, is each dungeon has like branching paths. So you saw there's like a, if I go the other way, you can go to a shop this way, it's like blank ahead, so it's kind of a mystery. Um, how about, uh, I guess I'll go into the story a little bit. So you start off with her and Gwendolyn, and she's like a princess, and the game is heavily based on Norse mythology. And uh, here you can see like, these are all the branching timelines. So, another thing besides the branching paths and dungeons, the actual game itself has branching narratives, and a lot of narratives. So it goes by character, and then by chapter, and then, yeah, basically you can just see how far you are and what scenarios you miss, because there's choices you can make and decisions, and it's, it's pretty cool. So this is my spell, so that thing costs two, so my meter went down by two. Okay, so, so the souls works. you collect are kind of magic. Yeah. Okay. And I think I think I have a you can have potions to like regain it. I'm not sure. And the um, the stories kind of interconnect then. Yeah, there's five characters. There's Gwendolyn, uh, like I said, the Valkyrie princess. There's a guy named Oswald. He's like a dark knight, I believe. And he's looking for like a ring or something, or, or I think he's cursed. And then eventually you get to him. But yeah, so you go through the story as like each individual, like basically you play the game once, and I think you have to play it a certain way. 
and then after you meet everybody then you can see like the crosswords of like oh well now you can go for him now and get this story now you can go for him okay and the game has kind of a new game plus mode in that way where you can like replay the scenario like right now if you haven't noticed i haven't had a lot of trouble defeating monsters like i can just spear people not lose a lot of hp and just they'll just die pretty much so um something that you may you may be confused about um so each area is a circle the yellow dots there are the gateways you have to defeat all the monsters in order to move on to the gateway okay i'll destroy that carrot Poor carrot. so that's xp yep okay. that little vegetable man was xp so um uh do 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 so yeah you go into each stage you kind of run around and try to look for monsters sometimes I have trouble finding them. You can see on the little radar to see me that oh, like yep. that. Oh, okay. see like tentacles appeared over there. So enemies will just kind of randomly appear. Yep. I believe there's a Japanese with some tentacle monsters. Well, you gotta have the tentacles. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm digging this music. It's pretty epic. It's really, really good music. It reminds me of uh, like Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah. It's very good orchestra orchestral stuff. Um, it just the the whole North mythology like from the art to the monster design to like the story it's like very well done in like a Japanese kind of veil I would say mm -hmm. um uh, to go forth so Gwendolyn I can't remember what her specific story is I think she's trying to find I think her kingdom's under attack Oswald's trying to find a ring I believe and then get uncursed um there's like a little red riding hood slut girl I can't I can't remember what her name is she uh she has like a red robe and then she's wearing like a bra and everywhere. That's pretty much uh, it. Yeah, okay. And Your she description's has, accurate. Yeah. Uh, she has like a whip, like a crystal whip kind of thing, and she's like a witch. Um there's a fairy princess and I then like there's how the chests are harder to open than killing the monsters. Yeah, they can be sometimes. I got an omelet. You can make recipes and stuff and create alchemy and other things. You know so, what game had the worst alchemy was Star Ocean. Uh, Star Ocean games do have the worst alchemy and cooking. Yeah. So when you make it to New Area, it'll, it'll say a little thing like that, like Chapter Four, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We'll just let this scene carry on. Okay. Look how epic he looks. Father. Not quite. Don't you recognize me? Your Lord Brigan. He's the Witch King. The Queen of the Underworld. It does kind of remind me of that. Look how huge he is. He's pretty that big. flowing cape. That animation, I, I'm just telling you, that animation is so crisp. Observe, the pitiful king is merely a puppet to my will. This country is finally mine. <laughs> so you are behind the chaos in this land. You disgust me. It's Ghost Dad. <laughs> you put That's the jello in the pudding. I'll tear off those wings of yours and remove my shame for having known you. What? Your you see the wings are like, she's like a ballerina. She has like wings on her side. It's kind of weird. <laughs> so she got raped and then this oh. is after she gets raped. Okay, then she wants revenge. Yep, now she gets revenge. And now it's, it's a boss time. Boss battle. Boss battle. Okay. Three things Vanillaware does really well. One, bosses are always huge, epic, and like always different. They're always like exciting and uh, just amazing. Two, the animations they do are just hands down some of the best in the industry. Three, to go along with that, their art style is just phenomenal. Like it, it, it says it, that says it looks like a like a painting, like a very it crisp does. painting. Like I mean, nothing about this feels PS2 era. Yeah, this could definitely have been like a download game, at least from this era. From the Vita or anything, yeah. yeah. See, I just, I, oh, just, I destroyed act. that guy. Yeah, yeah. I destroyed that guy. Ghost dad. Oh, no. he's, he's not looking so hot. Oh! I'm going to Jello heaven! See you later, shit lords. Father, you've returned. Gwendolyn. You made it back safely. No, thanks to you, Dad. I mean, look at that beard when he moves the box. Your edict, but I have important information for you. He's so huge and she's so tiny. I thought she was gonna like, uh... Is to trail. 
good so is that the ring man. that Oswald's looking for? I, I was yeah. Yeah. To tempt okay. Thanks, game. <laughs> Your <laughs> questions will be answered by Gandalf. <laughs> The huge, <laughs> the huge. <laughs> Look at that gay cape he's wearing. I gotta say, look at his arm. Oh, yeah. He'd give Chris Redfield a run for his money. Obviously, that's a pretty beefy arm. That's where he keeps his magic. From that battle, with your latest actions, you have atoned for your past transgressions. Welcome back, my child. So she was a naughty child. Your honor has been I think she was blamed in the beginning of the game. I think you kill somebody in accident. Whoops, my bad. Gosh, it's been so. I should have wiki the story, but I, I think it's funnier just to, <laughs> to bramble through it. Yeah. So anyway, there's there's that slut Red Riding Hood, and there's like a fairy princess, and there's I think there's like a rabbit dude too. A rabbit, like like Virgil, like like Bernie's a, bunny, uh, like a some kind of bunny person. I don't know. There's five characters together. Let's let's move to another. The Puka Prince. Let's let's move to another guy. Um. Maybe Velvet. Velvet must be the uh, rabbit. That would make sense. God, that story was depressing. The Velveteen Rabbit. <laughs> I thought you meant the story we just saw. That was really sad. I hate stories with absolution and forgiveness. Okay, so Mercedes is the fairy princess, I believe. Yes, okay, the fairy princess. She's not Slut Red Riding Hood? No. Nope. Okay. Mercedes. Destroyed some frogs with my fucking epic crystal crossbow. That's pretty epic. A little bit. So you, you said your weapons don't you don't get new ones, you just upgrade your You just upgrade them, yeah. Which is totally fine with me. Yeah, that's sometimes it makes it easier. You S rank that. See that the music got like really loud. It got really loud. That might have some interference <laughs> at some point here. I just noticed that I'm like, why is that so loud? My eardrums are bleeding. I'll turn it down a little bit more. Just so I can't hear anything. I'm gonna go through the entire thing and just like double audio. <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> um, okay, so her, I mean, each character has like their own different stuff. I mean, she obviously has an emphasis on like range. Um, she has like healing abilities. And so these are all your magic attacks. That's only magic attack, and you get them by eating fruit, leveling up, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so now I can show you me drinking something. Would that go away on its own? I think so eventually. Since the bears come, the better bears come. <laughs> yeah. Poor bears. They look so villainous, and then when they fall down, they look pretty sweet too. And then, I mean, as you can see, that the, the score thingy obviously appears on good stage and you get points. Points matter some, sometimes. Sometimes, if you want to S-rank the game. Oh, that's right, that thing is called a hot cross bun. Oh, there's a boss already. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. I don't remember the rest of the nursery rhyme. Alright, let's find this whatever okay. boss. Why does it say B? Oh, boss. You retarded. <laughs> Shut up! Oh! Manticore. Cool. Oh. Oops. I killed him. I killed him before he could see what it was. <laughs> well, I'm sure it was cool looking. Okay. <laughs> I think that must have been, I think the blue means a mini boss. I think the purple is a boss boss, and uh, blue is a mini boss. And yeah, she can actually, like, Gwendolyn can glide, but you can actually just, like, fly with her. Kind of cool. Yeah. Pretty helpful. Um, as far as knocks, I would have to say what the game is. As you might want to surmise, there's a lot of backtracking, especially if you're trying to like level up and you gotta like go through dungeons again to get like more loot and stuff. And I mean these Find areas. More bell peppers and whatnot, so you can level up. Yes, and you know while this art is gorgeous. If you go through a stage, it's pretty much gonna stay like the, the same. same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's like one thing. Um, monsters as well. There'll be like a set amount of monsters per area. I'm like this area will have a bunch of things. Also, if you can't tell, this game is slowing down a little bit because they just launched like 20 guys at me. 
Okay, yeah. So it can be a little ambitious at times. So, I mean, it's very oh. rare that you get that many. Oh, no. gosh. I don't know if those are rapists. Goblins. I like rapists. An ancient crystal. Oh, that's something I should go into. You can you can make alchemy yourself, or you can you can alchemize like potions and stuff. Can, can all use... characters do that? Or yes. Just... Okay. Yep. I think the only differences between people is like the weapons, um, the magic you get, and then as far as like uh, their fighting style. Flying, yeah, fighting style and stuff. Like she's actually a pretty slow character, which you can kind of guess because she can fly and stuff. But to kind of balance that out, I guess they were like, let's, uh, yeah, do that. Okay, well, I screwed up alchemy there. So that bottle is empty. I think... Okay, I get that. And then I think I choose... A fruit? I think... A muggle. Oh, yeah, boom. I made five potions. Yay. Yeah, muggle. <laughs> And um, the also draw distance is kind of weird. I mean, you can kind of see that I was like right next to the screen, so when you can looking at people coming at you, it's kind of odd. Some guy. Hi there, missus. I stole wow, some goodies. I finally met a fair. Wow. He's got a deep voice for. Yeah. He looks like he's ten or something. He looks like the Sword of the Stone guy. Sell some stuff. Take my bottles. Then Link can come and buy them from you on some random quest. Well, you just... Oh, it, he just, like, pulled out a pendant. <laughs> on a little random sack of loot. I don't trust that guy. <laughs> this totally sounds like tactics. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited to play that again. I just downloaded the on the PSN. You can turn invisible? Mm-hmm. Wild that mouth. I slept You're like with the, the guy on Mortal Kombat. I slept with the girl that I woke like that once. Really? I mean a vagina. I screwed that joke up. Yeah. Pussy jokes! <laughs> the bear is like... Oh, well... It's dead. Now wow. Dead. And now that thing's dead too. Wow. I am so strong, I forgot all... I must have replayed this game at least two or three times. And you saw how many things I'm still missing. Mm -hmm. So it's got high replay value. Totally. And like the first time through, gosh, it must be at least like 20 plus hours. Each each character probably at least like between five and six hours, I think. This, Forest Lagoon. This is boss time again. Yes. Big boss. Oh, wrong yeah. game. Does Snake. Really lives here? No, he doesn't. This frog lives here. Oh no! What should I do? Frogs in a swamp. Oh, what's going on? British frogs in a swamp. Stupid frog! I dropped my mother's bow. Now, how is that my fault? This pond is full of frogs. If she's standing in the water oh, and she drops the bow, it's not that deep. It's huge. That bow was huge. How could she lose it? The pond is deep in places. Oh. Dropped into the Whoa! I could dive and look for um, it. small spoilers. I think that might be Oswald. I think he might have been transformed into a frog. What can you do for me? Okay. Probably needs a kiss. Well, I, I won't shoot any more frogs. I'm wasting my time here. Hey, it's hey, a douchey British I frog. A douchey. <laughs> I will grant just one wish for you. Will you please find my bow? You can grant wishes, can't you just, I don't know, get on your knees and look for it? I also said that to a girl once. <laughs> that was kind of an insult towards me, I think. Princess oh, look, another Mercedes. Yeah. What are you doing? This game is full of creepy dudes, Perfect I gotta tell timing. you. I like his hat, though. You, um, as I said. Beldor. Oh, Loyal Sorcerer Beldor. That guy's not I shady at all. You. I think I three of the characters are girls and two of them are guys. I think the rabbit might be a guy. I'm not quite sure. I have a dilemma. You know what? Now I that I'm thinking about it, I think the rabbit might be Oswald. Everybody's Oswald? I did. <laughs> <laughs> the lucky rabbit. No mistake. I am 
Melvin is not the king. Melvin's not the king. No, he shall be the What king game was that where Melvin was like a bad guy? No, I mean, I'm thinking of Seymour. I think Melvin, Seymour? I think Melvin was in Seymour was in 10. Wow, I never saw that guy turning on her at all. What a plot twist. That thing is huge. No one's ever said that to me. <laughs> oh, no, I'm frog. This boss is gonna be epic. And then you're probably gonna kill like two shots. Yep, something like that. Oh, you're dizzy. And the seals wait for me. Yeah, he's like, oh, we'll take your time, hon. Maybe this game is on. The difficulty is different, but. Oh. Did the frog just like, oh no, bitch? I guess you so. left me behind. Oh, there's more. I don't think it's the same frog. So that's all he can do. He just rams with his giant. And body. then he's like, well, I'll hold dizzy. on. Yeah. Well, stupid frog. Uh, let's finish him off. Finish him. Wow, that literally. I didn't think that was gonna do it, but. K.O. Um, I should tell you the bosses are really hard. The first time you play through. Yeah. <laughs> like pull your hair out, cry. No, but I mean they're challenging. Yeah. I cannot let you return. Nah. Please prepare yourself. Too bad they can't see you doing that. <laughs> what the? He he's poisoned me. He's this bitch slapped with poison. <laughs> Ran off, eh? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here soon. So, what what did you think? Oh, of the game? That's not what I thought of the game. I liked it. I might consider downloading it. From. It's um right now, guys. No. It's five dollars on PSN no, if you have a PS3. That is an epic good. steal. If you're trying to find a hard copy of this game, it's like upwards of sixty dollars. Luckily, I have a copy of it just for breaking rights. But yeah, five dollars for digital copy. Pretty good deal. It's an awesome deal. I highly recommend, it, especially for those who. Maybe can't get Dragon's Crown when it's coming out on Tuesday, or if they want to buy it like right now and get themselves geared up for Dragon's Crown coming on Tuesday. So yeah, it looks awesome, guys. That guy's kind of like a smog. He's missing things in his mouth. You know what I'm talking about? Eyes. I think those yellow things are his eyes. Oh. They're really low. I thought they were his nostrils. Look the size of his Also, you can tell she's not wearing like any pants at all. That's a, a theme. Gwendolyn actually has quite a bit of clothing. Yeah. Aww. Every other girl in the game is slutty. Oh, I wish I could, you could see the. I'll show you a statue of her later, but yeah. Just me, though. Not you guys. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Special so, privileges. Uh, yeah. I, I guess we'll uh, see you again. Bye.